Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Itana Grenet. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw three diagram using the Microsoft Word, and it can be so quick for you to make your three diagram without stressing yourself. All right, to start, all you need to have is to have this FFX installed in your system, then integrated into your Microsoft Word, and you are good to go. Okay, let's just see a simple example. Okay, this is FX draw. You get your FX draw. Open it if you come up like this. Let's close the grid. Then you go straight to the point. So on this place, you see three diagram. Just click on it, then click and drag. So this is how this default of the system brought it out. You can see it is a two three three. <laughs> that means the first branch of your tree is two branches. Then the next branch will now be three branches from this point connect to three branches, and this other point connect to three branches. Then you see three, so each of these branches uh, connect to three branches just like that. But let me just demonstrate a simple tree diagram like a die, for example. Let's assume we throw three dice, and you we have to find the probability of calculating some part of it let's say to get three heads two heads just depend on what you have to do i know sometimes you need to do your three diagram in your classroom for your student to see before you move on and to do that you may want to draw it using your system and in doing it to be quick for you so in that case just come and edit the three diagram you want so in this case it is the two 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 you need so first two branches then second branches now this branch connect to two branches this to two branches then the last one will be two also so that the first position will be head here head head just like that then we now have our tail here so each of them will be head tail head tail head tail just like that and you have all your probabilities then to get the values written on this place you can see this place add probability to branches if i want it to be on the stem now which of on the branches they add cumulative probability to vertices so but the case i want here is vertices i want my probability to be on this vertices so click on this all right so that is for now then i don't want any other thing to do i don't want arrow on my lines of my branches i don't want arrow from the start i don't want arrow from the end so let's leave the font to be 12 font it's time no romance all right it's okay like this so you set it as okay so you can see it has come out as you want now the next thing is i don't want numbers i want to put head and tail so you click on this if you click on it you can see symbol for setting if you want to do the setting you see what we write it will tell you to edit the tree by ungrouping so you need to ungroup it first <clears throat> so that your edit will be done individually so on group all then let's start with this so i want this place to be head and i want it to be plain text so this is coming out as an equation see equation but i want it to be plain text all right and i want it to be in the position where it is if you want to shift the position you can move all this point but i don't want that i don't want the measurement of the line to show which is this so this is all i want plain text let the text there be head that is all okay see it's now head the same to this place you click and i want this to be tail it's okay you click on this I want this to be head. It's okay, let's make it plain text. Click on this. I want this to be tail. <coughs> so just to make it head, tail, head, tail, just like that. So this is head. Plain text. This is tail. So my second branch is complete so let's go to the last branch so this is head this 
to be tail this will be head then next is going to be tail so just head tail head tail just like that So in this you can bring out all your possible outcomes in your probability. And the last one is this. Alright. So that is it. So now that I have it, you can group everything. Then click on group. Then in some cases, I may want this one to repeat itself. In case uh, other work, I may want to do other work and I may need this particular uh, tree diagram. So you can save this one as a gallery save. So all I just need to do, just come to your file. Click on save to gallery. So the gallery now, I have some names I've given down already. Let me just put it under my work. Okay. So it has been saved. So if I go to my gallery now, see so select gallery. So gallery are some shapes that have been done already. So these are the shapes done by the manufacturer then these are some few ones i did on my own my image my drawing my graph just like that so the other one i did i put it under my work so i've not actually saved anything under my work so you can give it a name i can say tree diagram i can just call it a tree tree diagram so if i want to create another gallery now I can add gallery here if i don't need that you can just say okay so it has been saved so i have this already all right so i can move now to my microsoft wall <coughs> so this will appear there the way i want it so just like that so in case another day maybe i mistakenly delete this for example i deleted this one now and i say oh i've deleted this and i've already saved it and i can't recall it back all i need to do go to ffx again go to gallery go to gallery select you see it's already under my work so just go to my work you see three diagram just click on it okay then click and drag it will appear the way you put it down there so this is how you can do your tree diagram in Microsoft Word the way you want it. So in this, you can solve your problems in your probability. Three head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail. Just like that. Then the same thing here, tail, 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 head, tail, head, tail, then tail, head, head. So you have your eight possible outcomes in these three coin when you throw three coins at the same time all right so this is that so that's all i have for this video you can see how to draw your tree diagram using microsoft word you can do other design depending on what you want it's your choice you are the teacher teaching your mathematics depend on how you want your vein your tree diagram to look like on coins on dice depend on you you are the owner of the question yeah, the teacher and that is that. So thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.